Earth-space weather this week remains a bit on the calm side. As we take a look at our Earth-facing disk, look in the south late on the 14th into the 15th, you can see that solar storm launch. That solar storm is actually going south and west of Earth, and it's actually going beneath Earth right now as we speak, not really giving us much of an impact. But as we take a look at the rest of the disk, look up in the north. Do you see that massive prominence? My goodness, this thing is like this big tornado, and it just lasts and lasts through the 15th, the 16th, and into the 17th before the thing finally collapses. So that was some gorgeous eye candy that we got to watch for a little while. Meanwhile, as we take a look at the rest of the disk, we do have a small coronal hole that's been rotating in through the Earth strike zone now. Again, not much of an effect because it's just not giving us that much uh, fast solar wind, but look down in the south. We have a much larger coronal hole. This one is going to be rotating into the Earth strike zone in and around four to five days. And judging by the shape, of it, it's going to cause fast solar wind to slam on really fast. So aurora photographers, you could definitely have us get bumped to storm levels, which you might bring aurora clear down to mid-latitudes for a short while. But sadly, this coronal hole is not the right polarity to give us an extended show. So you're gonna, if you're gonna catch it, you're gonna have to catch it quickly because it will likely die down reasonably quickly. Now, as we take a look at our far-sighted sun, this is stereo A and it's looking at the sun just a little bit from the side. You can see region 3120 as it rotates kind of to the sun's west limb in stereo's view and just behind it you can see that big coronal hole that's the coronal hole that's going to be giving us a, a show in about four or five days from the fast solar wind but look past it you actually see some regions in the south and a little bit of brightness on the east limb in the north these are regions 3105 3107 3111 and 3113 if anybody can remember that far back about a month ago these regions do look like they've quieted down a little bit, so I don't think we're going to be seeing a lot of flare activity or solar storm activity from them, but they are continuing to boost that solar flux, so even as they rotate into Earth view over the next couple days, it looks like uh, the solar flux will stay up in the, in the good range, and so that means radio propagation on Earth's day side is going to be A-OK. -okay. For more details on this week's space weather and how it could affect you, Come check out my channel or see me at spaceweatherwoman.com.